Hey y'all, good to see you here on the channel. Hope everybody's doing just fine. And well, I'm gonna let the worlds collide again today in this video, cause I just don't see any other way to make it happen. So for those of you who uh, have been watching the channel for a little while, you may or may not know, I have another channel called Grassroots Gardening that pertains to all plants and the garden center that we run and that, try, that kind of stuff. And I always try to keep the two separate mainly for YouTube's algorithm, because if not, we got so many things going on. YouTube like is like, what the hell is this channel about? Is it gardening? Is it heavy equipment? We don't even know. Then they don't push the video. So that's why I keep them separate. But today, um, we just got a busy, busy day. So I'm gonna let the world collide. Some of you have wanted to see, you know, uh, a life in the day uh, of me. So that's kind of what this is gonna be. But. We've got to plant some tomato plants this morning for dad. He had to go back to the hospital, unfortunately. Um, he had some internal issues. He's okay, and he might get to come back home tomorrow, but just want to keep you guys updated there because so many of you have reached out in the comment section checking on dad, and that means the world to me. I really appreciate it. So hopefully he'll get to come home tomorrow, but he wants a whole flat of celebrity tomatoes planted, and he asked mom to do it, and well, I'm just gonna go do it for him. So we're gonna go down to the garden center, get a flat of celebrities, go plant them. Then we've got some bees that me and Luis have to put into a new hive. We're gonna go to Atomic Sand a little bit later on, check on the bees out there, get with Terry, see what's happening in that sand mine. Then we gotta go to the apartment, get it checked out because Roto Chopper is sending their marketing folks down tomorrow to do a little filming of the prototype and that's this evening so we've got a full full day so sorry for uh you know letting the worlds collide again on you guys i don't know what this video is going to be about uh other than everything i just told you so let's get it started All right guys we got a busy day today so these are my parrots i have them in a big cage out here in my greenhouse that is a lean-to greenhouse connected to my home we've got some more tomatoes over there in a flat somewhere that we're going to plant but just real quick, just showing you around my house. Um, it's just now getting warm enough at nighttime where I can move the birds out here into the aviary. A Aaron came down and welded this structure up for me and we got some wire all over it so the birds hang out here all summer long. They got it made in the shade. Don't you guys? Yeah, you do. Now they are mean as all get out. This dude right here is Kona. And he hates men and this is his girlfriend Millie and uh, they're a breeding pair so they hate pretty much any anybody but each other so have to be real careful around them because you could lose a finger and here's some tomato seedlings that I grew well from seed and they're getting a little kind of lanky on us so I'm gonna grab some pots and some more soil and we're gonna pot these guys up and then let them grow for another week or two then we'll plant them in the garden all right, we're gonna have to go ahead and head down to the garden center because I don't have any of the little pots that I need. And we need to grab a bag or two of soil. And then we can go ahead and grab the tomatoes that we're gonna plant down in the big garden. So let's go jump in the F-250 and let's head down to the garden center. We're at a windshield wiper fluid, people. So we do what we have to do. The phone won't quit ringing today, y'all. I can't get nothing done. Had to reschedule dentist appointments for me and my son, checking on dad, checking with the landfill, checking with the mulch yard, <laughs> talking to Terry. Terry's not gonna be there this afternoon. He's gotta have some dental work done today and uh, talking with the HR lady. It's just wide open, but this is, um, this is my life, you guys. Single dad, multiple businesses, sick parent it's just sometimes like ah you know it's just overwhelming with all the things that we've got going on but life is good man glad dad's uh doing better and all the businesses are doing great we've got as y'all know wonderful people in place to run each and every one of them so i just kind of every day is kind of like a whirlwind for me i wake up and just get blown all over the place and end up wherever I end up. Hmm. 
somebody decided to park right there where we need to go. Well, let's go ahead and grab us a few bags of soil, I guess, and then we'll go up to the nursery and grab us some tomatoes and some pots. Very interesting parking spot choice. All right, let's run around here, see if we can find Dad's tomatoes and get us some little pots to plant those seedling tomatoes in. So this is our garden center right here, guys. This is Grassroots in Graniteville, South Carolina. This is where my passion really comes in because I love plants and we have got a slew of them. So if you like gardening, Again, I know this is kind of a hodgepodge video today, but if you like gardening, check out Grassroots Gardening. It's my other YouTube channel, and that's where we have all the plants and gardening for days and days. Right, Pam? That's right. There's Miss, there's Miss Pamela. How are you today? I'm fine. How about you? I does good. Hey, you got a flat of uh, celebrity tomatoes? Do you know? Probably do. Okay. Well, shoot, man. It was so busy Saturday, we might, might be sold out. We got to plant a flat for dad. He wants a a whole, evidently a thousand pounds of tomatoes. All right, cool. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, here, let me get that. How was your weekend? It was great. You went to the masters, I huh? Did. Good I for did. you, man. That's I awesome. Did. My dream was to see the course. Yeah. So it it's, was wonderful. It's beautiful, ain't yes, it? Yes, beyond my expectations. I've only been once, but it is sure enough it, pretty. It was awesome. I can take those. I'll put it back here. Well, I'm, I'm, I parked it out front. Well, let me take it. You do that for me? I will. You're so sweet. <laughs> I'm going to go around here and get me some pots. I got some seedling tomatoes I got to plant up, too. Okay. Thank you. Y'all get the kind of behind-the-scenes tour today. This is our main greenhouse. That's our jungle greenhouse right there where we got birds and a lot of tropical plants. This is our wood-burning stove. So, Dad and Jesus split up all this wood. We burn it in this boiler helps us heat both greenhouses we got radiant heat installed in the slab of that greenhouse there we did have to use propane as a as a backup but it saves us a lot of money and we get to do something beneficial with the wood let's see here which one do i want to do i think this will do us right here guys This is our jungle greenhouse here where we got all the birds or more birds y'all saw the ones we had at the house let's see how larry's doing today larry's a little bird well not little anymore he's a bird that i raised from a a wee little baby hey larry tell everybody hey you're not going to talk today are you for for usual and there's scarlet but yeah this where i have a lot of the rare house plants and regular house plants and all the kids like to come back here and see the see the jungle is almost like turning into a daggum zoo out here still not ringing up right cameron you weren't supposed to hear that oh whoops stealing more stuff? Hey, I am stealing more stuff. Is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. How was your weekend? I'm moving. To oh, no. Moving's no fun, buddy. I know. My whole body is like in shambles right now. It just hurts. <laughs> A flight of stairs with all of your heavy furniture. Oh. Well, you're young. You'll bounce back. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cam, I put this up here for you over the weekend. Aaron found a box of these in the landfill, so I figured you might like it. <laughs> I really might lose it. Uh oh, phone ringing. All right, let me get myself rang up here for my stuff we're gonna steal. Hey, kitty kitty. All right, let's get out of here before we get stuck. Cam's by herself today, pretty much up here in the store, and the phone's ringing off the hook. So I was answering phone calls, helping customers. We just got, I hate to leave her, but we just got to get out of here, or we will be here all day long.
All right, we're back at the greenhouse. We're gonna get those little seedlings transplanted. But first, we gotta water this greenhouse real quick. I've gotta redo the automatic irrigation out here in this house. But <laughs> there just hasn't, hasn't been time to get out here and work on that project. But hopefully soon, then we won't have to water by hand every day. try this again y'all i'll tell you what man that little garden center right now is off the chain busy phone wouldn't quit ringing i was holding the i had both phones trying to radio to see if we have this plant or that plant trying to ring people up i hated to leave cameron i really do i feel bad about it but we ain't gonna get nothing done today if we stay down there now let's get these little seedlings transplanted over real quick and then we'll head down to the big garden and we'll plant that flat of celebrity for dad. All right, we got all of our little seedlings transplanted. Let's head down to the big garden now and plant dad some celebrity tomatoes. I love me some springtime, y'all. Even though as busy as it is, everything's blooming, all the trees are leafing out. The sun was just down there at the pond in front of our house fishing. Driving me nuts because I want to be fishing too, but we got way too much to do today to be, to be fishing. But it's a beautiful day. I think it's going to be about 75 and sunny. You just can't ask for, for better weather. But we're pulling up down here at the garden area now. Uh, we've already planted some tomatoes, so we've got us a line strung up down through there. We'll open this gate up. We'll get these celebrities planted for Pop, make him feel better. And then by that time, Luis should be uh, finishing up with lunch. And we're going to come back. What, he's coming to the house. And then we're going to move those bees from the swarm trap that I hung up in a tree. We're going to move those bees over into another hive and the reason we're doing all the bees and how why i have them over at the sand planet atomic is i rob them every year get that honey and then we sell it down at grassroots garden center uh, a lot of people that have allergies need that local honey so it's just uh something fun to do it helps the environment you got to have bees and uh makes a little bit of money not much but just another one of my hobbies just what i need is one more hobby <laughs> So I got my little shovel here and y'all might be asking why I'm using bagged compost when we make compost ourselves. And the reason is I've already added several dump truck loads of our compost to the garden. And so this just makes it easy to go by and put a little bit of fresh compost. This is a company up in South Carolina that makes us, I uh, can't believe it's chicken. Make it from chicken waste, really, really good product. And so I'm just gonna add a little additional uh, compost, fresh compost with some new nutrients. And then also kind of interesting like i told you guys in the past you know we um we inoculate our compost with beneficial bacteria and fungi and so this product is from espoma and here's the list of all the different bacterias and fungi and so i always add that when i'm planting too and that's one of the most important things in our composting process that i've showed you guys in the past up at the mulch yard uh, the most important thing is adding these beneficial bacteria that help to break down the soil and then they also just help to um, make nutrients available in the soil so that's why i'm adding a little bit of extra you never can have too many beneficial microbes in your soil that's why this garden always does so well is because it's just rich in that microbial life but i'm gonna grab my shovel right here go dig us 32 holes <laughs> for dad's 32 celebrity tomatoes get them things planted and then we'll head back over to the house and mess with the bees a little bit
Okay, good. The GoPro didn't overheat. It's hot though. Well, we got uh, not quite a whole flat planted because we ran out of row, but I think that should be enough tomatoes to make Pop happy. We're going to uh, I'm gonna turn the sprinklers on real quick and water those in because I don't think we got any rain forecasted in the very near future. Go get us a quick bite to eat, wait on Luis to come back, and we'll start messing with the bees. Well, I said we were going to turn the sprinklers on, but looks like one of our valves busted over the winter time. So, got to go find us another valve. Maybe Luis might can work on that while we eat lunch because we got to get some water on these guys cuz I sure just I sure didn't just do all of that for nothing and to let them die. So, let's uh Luis should be back any second now. Maybe we have another valve up in the shop. They can come replace that so we can get some water on it. We can get us something to eat. And then, as I've said 13 times already, then we're going to mess with the bees. All right. Well, now we got to go put some mom, put some mom, put some air in mom's tire because she's got to go over to the hospital and see dad. So let's go do that. And then I guess we'll just go up and see if we can find that uh, valve for Luis. <laughs> it's always something, man. Always something. All right, had me a little leftover steak and leftover egg roll. We're out in the yard now. We didn't have that um, that part that we needed to fix the sprinkler, so Luis is gonna go by and pick us up one at Lowe's. But so we've got to say we caught a swarm of bees, and we've. Uh, Brought them over here close to this hive, so now we're going to take the bees out of the swarm trap and put them into their new hive. Luis has got us all set up right here with our frames. We've got our suit, and we're going to find out just how mean these things are. Hopefully, they're not as, a, as aggressive as the bees over at Atomic, and you'll see what I'm talking about later when, when we go over there. Those dudes are mean, but I'm going to throw my suit on. Let's take a look inside this swarm trap, see what it looks like, get them moved over, and uh, see how it goes. Perfect now. Yeah, perfect for growing the bees. Yeah. yeah one, one time, time I had a bee, a bee went in my suit. Yeah, go up to a little uh, open people right there. Yeah, it like went a, through, like a hole. <laughs> went, through, went through my zipper and climbed in my veil with me. Mm -hmm. All right, well we all suited up now, Luis. If you want to, I guess we can uh, we can go ahead and move this wood out of the way move that out of the way now and I guess we can go ahead let me loosen up the strap okay just toss it back there mm -hmm. and uh, I'll hold the the swarm trap Luis if mm -hmm. you want to go ahead and maybe we're gonna put them in the bottom so if you want to move this top box off Yeah, just wherever is easiest for you. Oh yeah, man, they're plenty active. I'm excited to see inside here and see what we what we got. And I guess open? I think so. Yeah, you just have to pull real hard on that plastic lid. Yeah, now it's, it's a little soft because it's nice and warm with the sun. Oh wow! wow. Check it out. <laughs> that's a lot of bees, man. Yes, sir. That's, that's awesome, Luis. Well, we need it. Yeah, boy, this is a healthy swarm here. <laughs> so, gonna start transfer to the new pipe body? Yeah. All right. Wow, I'm happy to see that many bees. It, it smells pretty good, uh, lemon grass. Yeah, you can smell that lemon grass, that swarm lure. Mm hmm. Okay, you got her? Yeah. Want to check it out? If yeah, you the queen's gear. You, you go ahead, check it out. See if you see the queen. She'll be on one of these, one of these frames somewhere. I, I don't see this one really. Yeah, we we'll, we can check later. Once, hey, let me see. Oh, that's a drone. Yes, a drone. I thought, I thought that was the queen. That one have a, a lot of drones too, right? Yeah. So you wanna in the middle? I think yeah, in the middle. Okay. And then we'll let them work work their way out man that's a lot of bees 
guys are nice. This is strong. Hi. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. Look at them hanging on the on the frame there. I'll you check. I'll check. Side? I'll check this side. I don't see her. The queen is sometimes a little difficult to spot. Yeah, it really takes a trained eye. Uh, most of the time, me and Luis can find her. I don't see her on this side. Okay. Yeah. And we want to try to make this move as, you know, less traumatic as possible, so we won't keep them out for a long, long time. And it is kind of, kind of windy today too, so we don't want to lose any oh, of them. Oh, it's right here, the queen. This side. Oh yeah, there's Big Mama. You see? Wow, she's huge. Yeah. That's great. Okay, go ahead and put that frame on in there, <laughs> so we don't lose her. She's a big girl. Oh, I'm, wood, I'm excited about this, man. This is cool. Go ahead. Okay. We're already drawing out, drawing out the comb. Real good too. You can see. Yeah, on the this tree. Yeah. They do a little bit for both sides. So can I put the other empty frames? Uh, yeah. You can go ahead and put that up. But I would see we need to put. Um, got five so you need to put four frames and the sugar water if you if you have room for the we, we will have to make room for the sugar water okay. you want to write the sugar water on, on the it doesn't matter on the main, okay. yeah and also Luis I should have told you too we're gonna put we're gonna put it up here so you want more stand okay. yeah okay sorry I can't let me maybe put this camera down I can help you Good. All right, we had to do a little re restacking, and that's our sugar water frame right there. That'll help them uh, draw out a lot more comb, and just help them get stronger quicker. Feed them a little bit. And that sugar water is just a substitute for you know uh, nectar that they would find out in the wild, and just help them out a whole lot since they are. A fresh hive, they need all the help that they can get. Perfect. Okay, now I can put the pot in. Yeah, now it starts coming out. I'll see. All right, one bee project successfully taken care of. Now we're going to head over to Atomic Sand and mess with those mean Russian bees. It looks like they're selling some sand. I think that's going up to Tennessee. A lot of times the um, drivers, you know, they rack up so many hours in their log book, they'll sit out outside the gate and take them a nap and then head up to either North Carolina or Tennessee with our sand. But man, I love this place out here. Look how pretty it is. Love all that white sand, blue skies today. i tell you what we'll do. We'll, um, of course, go inspect these bees up here in just a second. And then we'll just kind of we'll just kind of um, kick around here for a little while before we have to head down to the apartment. I'd like to fly the drone up for you guys and for myself and see what they've had going on. With, I haven't been out here in probably two, maybe even three weeks now. Um, we've just been so busy back at the landfill and the garden center. I just haven't had the time to come out here. So we'll fly the drone around a little bit see what we can see but we're pulling up to the beehive area right now we'll get suited up and uh, we're gonna have to tape our legs up on this one because these this is a Russian variety of bees uh, so there are different strains of bees and I ordered a Russian Queen not too long ago just to give them a try but they're the most aggressive bees that I've ever messed with and um, but they do good because they're so aggressive they help to fight off um, you know insects and anything that could be messing with the hive they're so mean <laughs> nothing wants to mess with them including me but we're gonna have to so we're gonna tape our legs up suit up go check them out go ahead and let my window up because i don't want any in my truck with me when we get done yeah you heard of ants ants in your pants you don't want bees in your pants that's for sure 
Now I'm safe. Now you're safe. Yeah. All right. I think you're good, buddy. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you do mine. Yeah. Yeah, that way it's more easy. You print on. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to be dancing around with bees, <laughs> bees in my pants. Yeah. Now Luis will just take some pine straw and some sticks, build a fire in our little smoker box there. This will help mask any pheromones. You know, if we happen to squish one or two, which we always do, uh, it'll help mask that pheromone. And also they think a fire is coming, so they'll start eating honey and not mess with us as quite as bad. They're still gonna mess with us, but <laughs> it'll, it'll help out a little bit. Let me take my foot and press that down yeah, in there. Yeah. Luis is my beekeeping buddy. Mm -hmm. We've been messing with the bees together for a few years now. Still learning a lot. Bees are they're not the easiest creatures to figure out, but we learning. You ready, senor? I'm ready. Let's do it. Which one you want to go in first? Doesn't matter to me. Uh, maybe maybe let's go into this one first. Yeah, that would. In case in case we need to steal one of the supers off the top and put it on that one over there. These are some mean bees, man. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the entrance a little bit. Okay, whenever you're ready, sir. Okay, I'm ready. Take that top pole. Yep. Right here. Oh, I can put that super person back. Yeah. And I'm gonna be your smoker. Your smoker and your and your cameraman. Yeah. A little lizard. Yeah. Oh, this is empty. I can okay. See. I can take this one out. Yeah. I'll go ahead and take the whole thing off. Maybe we'll maybe we'll move that one to the other mm -hmm. other hive if they need it. All right. I go ahead and remove that one too then. Yeah. The so the nectar flow should start pretty soon um, in April and May, and that's when we'll really get some honey. But yeah, that one that one's empty as well. Mm-hmm. I say let's just take all the empty ones off for now, you think so? Yeah, that, that, that one work. Yeah, they're working on this one. Maybe you want you wanna pull a frame out? Yeah. Yeah. Take a look. Yeah. I saw a I saw a hive beetle. You see one? Yeah. So hive beetles are a, a real nuisance and that's what's messed us up on a few of our colonies that we've lost these they're little black beetles and they get in there and lay their eggs and they can really be devastating if the hive isn't strong enough to defend itself you just want to break it you know break it loose and then we can use the frame puller outer yeah see if we can break it loose a little bit more there it is okay yep they're drawing it out. Got a little bit of honey. A little, oh, wow. A little, they, little they bit of working. honey in there. Yeah. Let's pull out. Uh, I'd like to I'd like to get that one in the center just to take a look. Yeah. Let me make it loose first. Please. Yeah, you loosen it up. Okay. Oh, wow. A lot of honey this side. Well, not a lot, but already uncovered this. Side. Oh, yeah. Honey and, and brood. So wow. those ones with the caps on them right there are the babies. Oh yeah, a lot of honey. That's looking good, man. <laughs> yeah. Some funky looking frames a little bit, but yeah, lots of lots of larva. But yes. Queen is, is doing a pretty good job. Yeah, she's doing a good job of laying. One is born right now. <laughs> oh yeah, one's it, just coming out. Yeah. <laughs> just hatching. How about that? That was good timing, Luis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't see a lot of uh, a lot of wax or anything on these lower. Oh, they don't work much on this one. Look. No. That don't look too good. There does it. No, they start use the. Use the other. They're just using that one hive body. Yeah, they are 
is off now. Look at you down. The song is deeper than now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're singing a different. Mm -hmm. They're singing a different song. They're gonna get <laughs> upset. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on any of those lower frames. Yep. Maybe, maybe right over here on this one. And this is where we, you just can't help but um, occasionally smash one when you're putting the frames back in. And when you smash one, it puts out a emergency pheromone and everybody gets really riled up and starts buzzing you like crazy. But this is a lot, <laughs> I mean a lot of bees. We may have to show this video to somebody that knows what's going on here, but something... Something's not right with these guys because there's no no larva and it looks like something's been eating the actual wax, wa eating the comb. So we might have to get a little outside help on this one, Luis. Yeah, yeah definitely. Hey, that, give me some help. Is that your queen? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, that's the queen right there. Okay. I want to put it back. Yeah, we better put it back before she flies. Yeah, you find it this time? Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. She's a lot smaller yeah. than that one at the house. Well, I keep... No, this one This one is empty too. Yeah, no, they're empty. I would go ahead and put that one back. You should grab the camera real quick like this. This is what hive beetles look like. You see those little black beetles? We got them bad, Luis. Mm -hmm. A lot of hive beetles. But you know what? They're on the bottom because we got this hive beetle guard. Oh, that's right, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So that's working, but I still don't like that many beetles in the bottom. So, yeah, we're going to have to get some help on this one. Oh, yeah, right here, you see that bunch of beetles? Right yeah, that's a lot, man. Yeah. All right, get out of there, guys, so we don't smash you. Might want to get your brush. Yeah. You could brush them off. I got bees on the GoPro. <laughs> bees in my face. They are <laughs> upset, boy. See, sometimes you smash them just like that right there, and then they put out that pheromone, and everybody gets everybody gets angry. That's just part of it, though. There's nothing you can do when you're dealing with this many bees. Let me smoke them for you. Yeah. Now they're on the bottom of the the roof. Or the lid. Let's see if we can smoke them and get them to fly so we don't smash them. Okay. Probably about as good as we're going to get it, Luis. Yeah. Man, look at all of them. Okay. It's, it's a strong hive, but that was a lot of beetles in there, and then I didn't like something been eating that wax. And it's just kind of desolate down at the bottom. There's no, not a lot of activity. So I'm gonna have to reach out to some of my beekeeper friends and see what their, see what their thoughts are, what they suggest us do. All right, let's go bust into the, the other hive, I reckon. Let these guys calm back down. They are some kind of pissed off right now. I'm gonna go ahead and move these. Well, there's bees all over those weeds. I was gonna move those weeds out of the way. All right, let's go piss these guys off, Luis. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead before we get started. Oh, it's an ant bed uh -oh. down there. Don't look like it's active though. Go ahead and get these weeds out of the way. <laughs> yeah, we have ants in our pants, bees all over us. That lizard up there just chilling out. Like yeah, I saw a lot of pollen on that one's legs when he was coming in. Let's see what this one looks like. They're drawing comb out. Yeah. Right there. Maybe, maybe, maybe not a lot of honey just yet, but want to see if they have honey yeah we can check it 
while we're here and while it's not too hot. Yeah, it's not too hot today, it's not yeah. bad. When it gets June and July, Ooh. and you have to put your bee suit on, that's when it's not so much. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh. Beautiful, that's, you, you that's like what you see. want to see right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, nothing nothing yeah. but honey. We got a little bit, but they still they're still wind, working. Sun, yeah. They're still okay. working on so drawing the comb means exactly what they're doing right there they're drawing that comb mm -hmm. outwards then they can store their their honey in it so they'll fill that whole thing up and then they'll cap it and then probably june july sometime me and luis will come out and rob it and we'll take these supers and this is where all of our honey comes from nothing yet on that one buddy Unless you got some. Oh, oh yeah, you got oh, something on some your side. Yeah, I, I thought the other side is the same. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, they're beginning. It's time for them to really, really start making uh, preparations to store up a bunch of honey. Yeah, that, that's empty. Oh, right here is a good one. Right here too. Okay. Hey, you like to see this one? Yeah, too. let's check it out. See what you got. They, they start working on this tree. This have a little bit, but I can show you right now. Not in this side, but something oh, right yeah. there. Yeah, they're starting to work. They. That's a good sign, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go into the next, yes. next lower supers and see what we got there. And hopefully my GoPro won't overheat, but we're out in the sunshine right now and I'm filming in 4K and sometimes that causes my GoPro to overheat when I try to film for any amount of time. Oh, not in this side, but nope. oh. pretty good on that side. <laughs> nice. Yeah. They cap it right here already. This one is almost full. They start cap it right here. That looks good. That's pretty good. Uh, hopefully, you know, down in the next two supers, maybe they're full. And we well, can- Well, yeah, because they start from- They the start bottom. from the bottom up. Oh, yeah. I keep my finger crossed. <laughs> yeah, and if, the, and if that's true, then we can add one of the supers from the, uh, other hive on top of here and let them just keep on filling it up oh, oh look at there what? oh wow it's the same on both sides check that one that's probably pretty what? heavy isn't it oh yeah that was like a couple pounds yeah beautiful uh, this is a good one making me hungry i want, <laughs> <laughs> I want some honey man there you go let me open you smoke it i have more yeah let's put some two wheel put another pine cone I'm always scared whenever we kneel down like this because a lot of times you have a bee on the back of your leg <laughs> and then you squish him with your knee and then he stings you through your oh, pants. Yeah. That's, hap that's happened to me <laughs> quite a few times so I squat down real slowly. Look good? Yes, it looks good for me. Our smoker's back to kicking. Close the lid on it. There we go. Right here, they made like the bridge. These two together. Oh, they got them together? Yeah, you see? Ooh. Wow. That's Some honey right there on the I, top. I see it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at all that honey. This is heavy. I, I don't see the other side, but I feel it's yeah, heavy. Yeah, it's full. This, this side has huh? Your Sample. side's about three quarters. Wow. Full. Okay. Like a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <That> honey. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one has honey. Oh yeah, sure does. Oh wow, it's too much honey. A lot of honey, <laughs> yeah. The same thing on this side. Look. Wow. See, I'd rather. I'd, it's great that we have honey, but I'd rather see these lower ones have a lot of babies, and then be putting honey up top. But kind of is is what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My camera keeps cutting off, guys. Sorry about that. We're down to 15% battery. I don't know why the thing, it should just run all the way out, but sometimes it likes to get down to 20% cut off, 15% cut off. Looks good, a lot of babies on this one, Luis. Oh, okay. so this is the wood one. You can check the yeah. other side too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking good, man. Okay. You know they're they're behaving pretty good today, Luis. 
They're not being too mean. No, like the other day, like no. last year. Yeah, sometimes we come out here and these things are just almost unworkable. A lot of honey on that frame. All right, we're back in action now. I had to come over here and throw another battery in the GoPro, but something, something big just moved over there in those pine trees. I hope it wasn't a, a gator or a big old snake. Ain't no telling out here at Atomic, man. This place is, this place is wild. Golly, look at the bees, Luis. It's a, too many bees, a million of bees. Yeah, you got a bunch of them. Yeah. Okay. Let me to run the smoker. Yes, please the work and bring them all right, guys, y'all get out of the way so we don't squish you. I'm sorry, do you want a, a, one super on this side? I think, uh, I don't know. They still got a lot of space. What you think we should do? We can add one, but... Yeah. Uh, I, think it's good like yeah I, I think so, too. They still got a lot of space up there. I think we're going to have to come back later for put a beetle trap. Yeah. And maybe I can bring new super if they need it i can put, a new put up put them on then yeah i agree with that all right that's about as good as i can get it buddy yeah it's too many mm -hmm. that's good perfect good deal man well I, I like this hive the way this hive looks a lot better yeah got the other one. That one over there uh, i don't know what what happened with the other one now yeah i don't know what happened to it either but that one go on I'm gonna show the video to my buddy and see what he thinks about it. That one looks looks really good, even though we didn't see the queen. But man, look at all of the bees. Wow, that was cool, man. Well, at least we know they're they're somewhat okay. We didn't lose them, at least, you know. Yeah. And then we can take these these supers back to the shed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can take them back. All right, guys, <laughs> it is hot as all get out inside this suit. I'm going to peel this suit off and uh, get me a drink of water, and then we'll go fly the drone around the mine site. <laughs> so something cool is kind of happening right now. I forgot that the eclipse was happening today, so we had to drive our trucks a little bit to get away from the, from the bees, and uh, everything kind of started going kind of dark. I was like, man... I think I need to drink some more water. And Luis was like, no, the eclipse is happening. So I'm going to try to get the drone up in the air real quick. And we'll take a look at the sun and just the sight and see what it looks like. But it kind of freaked me out for a second. I thought I was about to pass out. Yeah, it said at 308, 308 is when it would be. It's only going to be like a 75% eclipse where we're at. But uh, it's exactly 3 o'clock right now. So we have enough battery in the drone. To hopefully see something let's see video record take off let's go <laughs> what a, one of my sticks is just fell off Luis oh it's right so, <laughs> that's, not, that's not good all right we're gonna fly it with just my just my thumb my sticks done fell off my controller don't tell me max altitude reach we mode. come on Fly with caution. things moving by itself Luis oh you don't have that control on that ah, no it's moving by itself I don't know what's going on with this stupid thing all right it just found its home point now so maybe I want to try to go up and look at the Sun I tell you what I'm gonna move the I don't think I'm gonna be able to see I can't shoot up high enough to see anything I'm gonna use the GoPro and walk over there to where the Sun is and point it up at the Sun and just see see what we can catch I'll leave the drone up in the air for a minute it's eerie though I don't know if the GoPro is doing a good job but it's just like uh, obviously it's darker because the the Sun is being somewhat eclipsed then I just looked up at it like a stupid and it's still very bright. <laughs> Look over here. Set the GoPro up to see what we see. But yeah, it's real eerie, man. It's just like, uh, I don't know, a whole, whole different color 
world out here but i'm glad i just wasn't me being dehydrated here tell you what we'll go set y'all up on the pump right over here <laughs> still recording and I'm not going to stupidly look back up at the sun again this time but that was really cool man me and me and Luis sat over here in our trucks and I flew the drone around a little bit but it was so eerie down through the forest like everything went to sleep other than the frogs the frogs started croaking down there but the I mean the birds stopped flying around everything went went silent that was so cool i totally forgot about it i seriously thought i'd done got dehydrated in that bee suit i was fixing to tell Luis. i was like Luis, yeah i need to drink some more water i'm about to pass out because <laughs> why the color just started changing on me but anyhow that was pretty neat we're gonna go around here to the shop now i brought all the gold mining equipment over here because i don't need it at my house i ain't got room for it and well the gold's here so we're gonna go over to the shop right now unload all this stuff so i can get it out of my garage and then hopefully here in the coming weeks we'll have time to mine a little bit more and pan for some more gold that's what we need to be doing Luis. we need to be in that boat fishing today oh, yeah. don't you barking at girl i ain't been that long since i've seen you hey girl hey girl you keeping the shop on guard today where's your dad at Hey, we got us a, uh, a Polaris. I don't know if we bought this or we written it. And Terry's not here today. I'm sure Eric could tell us. So we may own a new Polaris. I don't know. And then I saw something else out here too. I think uh, Terry rented this little skid steer. 
So he's trying to make our uh, our slip and slide dream <laughs> come true. So he asked me if he could rent a little machine. I didn't know what he was going to rent, but I'm assuming <laughs> that's it right there. So we keeping the folks at United Rentals uh, in business this spring with the case excavator we got out at Gringo and all this stuff around here. But well, um, Luis, I don't know where our shop's kind of got junk everywhere. <clears throat> we have to find us a spot to put all of our our gold stuff. And I can't remember if I showed you guys this yet or not, but this is a little sluice that I bought um, from some fella up in Saluda, South Carolina. So hopefully we can get this little jewel set up. There's a miniature one up in there too. It kind of got dented up a little bit. And then the coolest thing, I can't, I, I'm losing my mind. I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not, but this is a little jaw crusher so you can crush rock. And then of course run it across the little sluice there too so i hope we can find time here in the in the very near future to get us some more sand out of the screw out of the wash plant over there and run it down this this sluice and see what we get this thing is pretty heavy up a little bit it was like that when I bought it but still work I think <laughs> some of the gold pans yeah. they still no. I don't know <laughs> that's a turkey fryer Luis oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you some turkey fryer. man we forgot to hang up the the hive trap uh, yeah, really. I can go back around there. I think probably where our trucks were sitting. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, we'll set all that in there. I think back there where our trucks were sitting would be a good place to hang it, hang the swarm trap. So this is what we caught the swarm in. Um, this is I bought two of them off of Amazon. So I think I'll go back around there and get this thing hung up. Louise, I say let's just let's just hang it hang it right there on that tree. A little one? No, the big one. Oh, the big one. Yeah, oh. we'll just drive us a nail. I don't think it'll hurt the tree. If it does, this place is so wild. A new one will be done growed back in in two weeks. Yeah, just as high as we can we can reach. Mm -hmm. We'll nail it in. <clears throat> this tree's probably going to die anyway since they brought all this new dirt in and piled it up around the, yes, the cool. trunk. So, yes, yeah, cool. I say let's hang it right there. So, if any of you guys are watching this or beekeepers, I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description below. But this is the Interceptor Hive Trap. This thing is so cool. I spoke to the guy, uh, Bob, I believe his name is, up in Nebraska. He builds these things and sells them. That's him right there. Yeah, Bob, Mr. Bob Fry. I talked to him on the phone the other day. Super nice. He even puts his phone number on there if you want to call him, you can, which he saw our video on my other channel and reached out to a super nice guy but comes with a swarm lure and this rubber band type deal right here to help hold it but then in addition i also found these on amazon these are swarm commanders super lures super easy all you got to do is just open it up oh. and drop it right in there and it smells just like lemongrass so that's kind of the attractant oh. for them so let me go ahead and drop that yeah in the bottom mm -hmm. yeah. smell it yeah it smells good mm, i want a bite <laughs> yeah i know it's it like a lemon a lemon cake yeah. or something but this will last for a few weeks i think just take and toss it right in the bottom just like so okay and we'll put the frames in yeah, and then we'll add the uh this is the lure that uh mr bob sent with the actual swarm trap and so now either you know we can catch just a, a wild native swarm or if our bees decide they want to swarm they'll they'll come here and we won't lose any of our bees so either way 
you know, it could be beneficial for us, but I'd rather have a wild swarm um, that comes out of the woods and lo is looking for a place to colonize and goes into here. All right, bees, there's your new place to live. Now y'all just come on and move in. We gotta turn the vacancy, mm -hmm. the vacancy sign on. <laughs> it's good to go now. Yeah, ready to go. All right, I think we wrapped up everything over here at Atomic Sand. We're gonna head down to the apartment now. Make sure it's in good shape for the Roto Chopper folks. They just landed in Atlanta just a little while ago, so it'll take them a two and a half hours or so to, to get to the apartment. And um, so I'm gonna go show you this place down here. Then I'm gonna get those guys settled in. I'm going to the house, cause it's been a long, long day, but uh, I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. I know it's just uh, random, but this is my life. Every day is just random. Who knows what I'll be doing, when I'll be doing it. And uh, that's just kind of the way it is. I like it like that, though, to be honest with you. Um, never doing the same thing day in and day out. So there's no monotony, that's for sure. Sometimes it gets a little a little too crazy. But today's been pretty pretty chilled. I've enjoyed hanging out with you guys and Luis and messing, messing with the bees. They got it going on over here, though. Nice big stockpile of sand. There's our Hyundai. 980 he's scooping into the stockpile and making an additional emergency stockpile so whenever we have a surplus of sand like we do right now we bring it over here and stockpile it for uh you know if we have to go shut down or if we break down this is our emergency reserve sand right here so let's get on out of here the guys are about to call it a day let's head down to uh the baseball field and i'll show you the apartment down there My truck is not made for a parking garage. Anybody home? I sure hope not. Welcome to our apartment, guys. So we're in North Augusta, South Carolina and um, this is the apartment that we lease and we bring clients here let them stay here or family or whoever but the main reason i got this thing is right here check it out how cool is this you guys so i love baseball it's really the only sport that i follow and we can sit up here and watch the augusta green jackets our our home team play and uh, we spend a lot of time down here during the spring and summer just watching baseball but the the whole story behind this apartment is I used to come down here and watch baseball games and I was sitting right over there on first base and I was watching them build this apartment complex and so I came over and I was actually trying to sell them a dumpster but you know for waste material so we could take it to the landfill and the lady was like hey today uh, we're doing the the first day of the hard hat tours of the building because they were fixing to try to start leasing them out she's like you'll be the first one to go on the hard hat tour if you want to go i said heck yeah so I threw me a hard hat on she's i'm gonna show you this apartment right here first because this is the one that everybody's gonna want um there's only one level down here that actually has a balcony and it's up on this floor and you also have a view of the savannah river right there and of course you can you can see the baseball field and so i was like wow you know i've never been offered anything first in like my whole life i said i'll take it she's like, are you serious I said yeah i said i've never had first dibs on anything in my whole life i want this apartment and so we got it and uh that was a couple years back and we used it again a lot during the summertime and it's just a really cool little place there's uh restaurants it's a really cool little like picturesque uh, neighborhood not too far away a lot of restaurants but my main love is just to come down here sit on this little bar that i built although the wind has uh, evidently been pretty bad <laughs> pretty recently blown my little stools over and some of my plants but just to sit out here and be able to enjoy the good old pastime of baseball drink a cold beer and not have to get rushed out of the stands after the game and you got a front row seat for the fireworks when they do them. 
they light them off right there so they explode right here it's just such a cool place man i just just love it down here and you know my son and i'll come down on the weekends a lot of the time too and it's kind of like a mini vacation but you're only 20 minutes from the house but super fortunate to have uh, stumbled upon this thing right here and for like our friends from Roto chopper there's no way they would have found anywhere to stay in augusta because it's masters today's like the first today's monday so this is masters week and it is busy all the hotels and all of augusta all the way up to columbia they all get uh, booked up weeks in advance so the guys wouldn't have had anywhere to stay so it's nice to have the place to offer to them but if you made it this far in the video i sure do appreciate you watching i know it's been a crazy one we've been all over the place but i sure do appreciate you guys very much so drop me a comment down below say hello let me know what you think of this uh hodgepodge video hit that like and subscribe down there and again thank you guys for your support i appreciate you watching i'll see you on the next video